Hello there, welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will go through one of the core topics in Swift. We will be doing core data. We will be working on Swift 4 on Xcode 9. Uh, this is my version, Xcode 9. Uh, but this code will completely work fine with Swift 3. So this tutorial will be divided into three parts. We will save and fetch data from core data in this tutorial. In second part, I will show how to delete single data from core data and also completely clean core data. In third and final part, I will show how to fetch certain elements from core data. So let's get started. Single view application, hit next, product name, save it as core data app and uh, make sure you check this uh, checkbox because we are going to use core data hit next and save it wherever you like so in core data we work on this core data model and we create entity and those entities have attributes so let's uh, start creating our first entity we will be using only one entity but you will get the logic okay so and our first attribute will be username and username will be of type string and another attribute will be password password and it will be of type string as well so I will uh, try building my application so that I don't have future errors and clean it so we will be doing it object oriented way so uh, we are not going to mess around with storyboard so first uh, create a new file it will be coco touch class and name it a code data handler and subclass of ns object hit next and create so here we are first of all uh, we need to import import core data and i'll just leave some extra spaces okay uh, first we need a private function it will be private class function get context and we will be returning some value but let's do this first so let app delegate equal to UI application dot shared dot delegate as okay I guess my font size is giving me problems I'll just change it okay it's like really big so here we are i think this is good okay app delegate and we will be returning app delegate dot persistent container dot view context and as you can see view context returns ns manage object context so just hit enter and return this and we will say return ns managed object context okay so this is our function now we will uh, now we need two function we need one function for saving the data and another function to fetch the data so let's do the save data first so save object and we will be passing username as string and password as string as well and uh, we will be returning a boolean value so that we know it worked fine uh, we need context so uh, this function will be a class function so just say class and now we can get the method so it's uh, context equals to get context now we need entity so entity equals to ns entity description dot entity and for entity name will be user and ns manage object context will be context and this user comes from here okay this core data model and this this is the entity name now we need a manage object manage object uh, which will be ns manage object and open parentheses with entity and insert into entity will be entity and exclamation we will force unwrap it and insert into context 
so now manage object dot set value for value will be username and for key will be username and manage object dot set value uh, this value will be password and for key will be password uh, this keys come from the code data model model attributes okay so let's get back now uh, we have fetched uh, we are placing the values in the context now we need to save the context so for that it will be a do statement and a catch I always do this so do will be try context dot save and return true if there's a problem return false okay so now we have saved the object now we need to fetch it so it will again be a class function fetch object and uh, no parameters and we will be returning an array of user uh, this user class is automatically created with entity so okay let's get back and it will be optional because if uh, something goes wrong we will be returning nil so let's say let context equal to get context and do uh, we need an array of users so user it will be of type user and let's give it a value of nil so if we will have something we will add in and we need catch okay so under do we will just say user equal to try context dot fetch and you will say user user dot fetch request and we will be returning this user and if something goes wrong we will still be returning user so if something does not work out user will be nil okay and okay let's change it to where okay so we are all set for saving and fetching the data so let's hop over to view controller and under view did load let's get rid of this first of all we need a variable so variable user will be of type uh, user of type user equal to nil so this is supposed to be optional and under this we will first save our object so let's call it code data manager code data handler dot save object and username will be yash and uh, let's make it capital password will be one two three four five that's rubbish but still and uh, let's try to fetch our object so it will be user equal to okay this is yes okay now this should work and core data core data handler dot fetch object and uh, now let's print it out for i in user print I dot username okay what's the matter yes okay this should work uh, let's run our application so uh, this should uh, probably print an optional so let's just force unwrap it and we also need to check if this is true so if and put parentheses and let's just indent this after this one more parentheses so let's run the application again 
Okay, the reason uh, that I have two years is because I ran the application all over again. So if you want to like get rid of the previous data, just hit home button and just delete this application. I don't know how it works, but just okay. Okay, this is imitating force touch. Okay, no. okay. Delete. Okay, it's working now. So let's run it all over again. Okay, and here's one Yash. So that's how you save and fetch data. In next video, I will show you how to delete single object from core data and also to completely wipe off the core data. So thank you guys, keep watching and don't forget to subscribe.